I am Daniela Tomic and head volleyball coach at Bowling Green State University. Um, I've been around volleyball since I was 10 years old. I uh, started playing volleyball uh, uh, very young. Uh, the first time I saw the game, I fell in love and uh, I told my parents that's what I wanted to do. I played club. I'm originally from Bosnia and Herzegovina, from a small town uh, named Chatici and I played for the local club team there. Uh, that was the only club for girls, so I was kind of, it was meant for me to play volleyball. Um, I, when I was 16, I left uh, Bosnia to play at the highest level at that time, uh, and I moved to Croatia and played club volleyball there for two different clubs. In um, two, 1994, actually, I got an opportunity. I heard that a school in the United States is looking for volleyball players. So uh, at that time, I had to make a decision if I was going to continue playing volleyball or study at the university. It was hard to combine both. And I had a couple of players, a couple of teammates, actually, who came to the U.S. Um, um, in the 90s and played college, and they had a great experience. So. I gave my name, my phone number, and a coach from the University of Arkansas, Little Rock, called me and we started talking and I ended up uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas. I didn't know anything about Little Rock. Uh, the only thing I knew was that Bill Clinton was from Arkansas because he was the president at that time. Um, I, um, I had a great experience. I was, uh, I was a transfer student, so I only uh, played two years uh, because of a transfer status. My senior year, my alma mater, uh, Little Rock, won the first Sunbelt Conference tournament and we earned a trip to the NCAA and uh, that was a great way for me to finish my playing career. I knew that I wanted to be a coach since early, early age. Uh, I got my first volleyball book from one of my, my middle school coach about volleyball and I was studying it and I was practicing different things uh, that were shown in the book. And it was just a natural step for me to go from playing to coaching. I needed uh, one more year to finish my uh, degree, so I was a student assistant uh, in Little Rock and then became a full-time assistant. Uh, I stayed there until 2003 and I got an opportunity to go to LSU and be an assistant coach there. And I uh, was fortunate to work with the current coach at LSU, Fran Flory. And it was a great experience to um, compete, to coach at the SEC level and uh, do the recruiting in a major school. Uh, so after two years, I um, got a phone call from a former athletic director who was in Little Rock and I was a student athlete, Rick Mello, and uh, he, there was an opening at his current school, Florida International University, and uh, he asked me to interview, I did, and I got my first head coaching job there. And uh, I stayed at uh, FIU for seven years, um, had a great players, great athletes to coach, um, had three trips to the NCAA, and um, in 2012, 2011 actually, in November, uh, I got a call from Bowling Green State University, Leslie Irvine, who also told me that there was an opening, they were looking for a volleyball coach. And, um, she recruited me and um, she told me about the Mid-American Conference and the success that actually uh, MAC had that year. Uh, MAC had four teams going to the NCA in 2011 and that was very attractive to me. And uh, the most kind of appealing thing uh, was when she told me that volleyball is considered a priority sport at the conference level. So I came and interviewed uh, in January, came from warm Miami, Florida to snowy Bowling Green in January and that didn't stop me. I fell in love. I uh, love facilities here. I love the people, uh, the support. I met Dr. Maisie, um, great administration. Uh, I felt that we can build something really special here and um, I became the head coach at Bowling Green um, in January of 2012. And it's been one of the best decisions that I made in my life, and uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. Uh, our goal, this is this is what we want to be. We want to be the top 25 team in the nation. We have everything here at BGSU to do that. We have one of the best volleyball facilities in the country. You know, we are in the um, in the area in the Midwest, competing with Big Ten conference uh, and in a any other conference uh, in the country who comes to Ohio and the Midwest to recruit uh, great players. But when it comes to facilities. Uh, the Stroh Center is uh, its a huge recruiting tool for us and we hear that all the time and we have parents and recruits on campus 
So we know that we have facilities uh, to be successful. We know that we have a support from our administration to be successful. We know that we have a great conference, very competitive conference. Our first win came against Indiana at Indiana, uh, which was a great way to, again, first win, uh, my first win as a head coach here. Um, and um, that kind of built the momentum. The girls started believing we can do it. And, uh, I believe the major thing was the opener that we had in the MAC. We played Ohio, who was uh, uh, projected to win the MAC that year, and we surprised them and beat them 3-0 here at home uh, in front of a great crowd. And uh, the miracle happened. <laughs> we we had a tough actually loss. The last loss in the in the regular season was against Northern Illinois, and when we came in the MAC, uh, we beat uh, Eastern Michigan, I believe, first. Then we played Western Michigan, beat them in five and then I ended up playing NIU in the finals and we played them just a week ago and it wasn't pretty. So um, that's how the first two sets looked like in the finals of the championship. It wasn't pretty and they beat us too. And, uh, we had a 10 minute break after that uh, second set and we kind of regrouped and uh, I made some changes in the lineup. Uh, we saved two match points in the third set, two or three. I'm not good with numbers. Um, and won the third set, and uh, the momentum shifted, we won the fourth set, and won the fifth set, and um, it was just an unreal experience for me as a coach. I know for our players it was such a um, gratifying experience, because that was a group of juniors that we had, that just two years before won three matches in the whole season, and to see uh, the hard work, the dedication, uh, the teamwork, that you can come from the bottom of the league to the top of the league in three years uh, was something that I will for sure cherish for the rest of my coaching career. Uh, and we won our first, uh, um, actually first MAC championship in almost 20 years, I believe. You know, this is a, this is a unique place. This, is, this was another selling point for me when I came here. Um, there was a basketball, actually, women's basketball game to see how many fans come to watch women's sports. I think Bowling Green is a unique uh, college town that supports women's sports as much or even sometimes more than men's sports. And for me, coaching women's volleyball, that's important. It's important for our players uh, who work extremely hard in the classroom, uh, on the court, to come and play. Uh, in the front of great fans and, and uh, with all those factors again there is no reason for us not to be uh, the top team in the MAC to continue winning championships and to continue going to the NCA and uh, eventually we will be top 25 and, and we want athletes, players who want to be a part of that process, who want to develop as a volleyball players but also as a people. Talons up!